Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing an unboxing and first look of the Cleto Reyes Amateur Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing an unboxing and first look on the Cleto Reyes Amateur Boxing Gloves. I believe I got these in blue uh, in 12 ounces, and these are a USA Boxing Approved Amateur Boxing Gloves uh, for sanctioned bouts. So you can use these for amateur boxing or whoever the sanctioning body that is hosting the event can actually use this uh, for an amateur bout. So let's go ahead and cut this box open to see what the gloves look like. This will be the very first time I've actually seen these gloves in person. I've done uh, reviews on pretty much all other uh, Coleto Reyes boxing gloves, but never their amateur gloves. So I'm kind of interested to see um, how these look in terms of just the quality. And I'm also kind of interested to see how they are in terms of the way they feel compared to the, the other gloves from Reyes. Obviously Reyes has their, their training gloves. They have their, their pro fight gloves. They also have their safe tech gloves, um, their uh, heavy bag gloves, if you want to call it, or extra protection gloves or hybrid ones. So they have a couple uh, of different models that are part of the lineup, but have never tried the amateur gloves. So uh, here they are in the box that they came in, uh, nicely wrapped up. And let's go ahead and take these out of the box. And put this knife away. Come wrapped up in this bag. Go ahead and open the bag up. And here is the left glove. Again, these are actually 10 ounces, my mistake. Not 12 ounces. For whatever reason, I thought they were 12, but got them in 10 ounces right there. And here is the right glove. So uh, first things first, they kind of remind me shape-wise of their training glove, but like a much more compact version, like the, the training glove look and profile, but with the size of their fight gloves. Uh, the leather on here looks identical to the leather they use in all of their other gloves. Um, even the blue colorway uh, is pretty much the same blue as they use in their other training and their pro fight gloves. So. Uh, in that in that regards, everything looks pretty much uh, the same, but you can see it has that beautiful leather that you use in Cleto Reyes gloves. And you can see it just looks fantastic. You know, that's one thing with Reyes, like I, I never have seen a, a pair of Reyes gloves that has bad leather or really any kind of bad craftsmanship. You always usually get an excellent uh, pair of gloves. The only thing I would say that Reyes has had kind of an issue with over the years is uh, the logo on the back of the glove peeling over a certain period of time or even quicker than most people would like it to fade off. But um, other than that, I mean, the leather on here, again, is the same grade and the same quality as you would find in all their other gloves. You have that Reyes logo and you can see it again, it is a 10 ounce glove. So it's definitely more compact. Um, they have a 12 ounce, which is probably going to be a little bit, a little bit larger. Uh, one thing you'll notice that's different than their other gloves is you have um, this amateur boxing elastic strap. So right there it says official according to USA Boxing specs. So USA Boxing specifications, meaning that this glove can be uh, used for official uh, amateur fights. Um, you also have this that says uh, B90 January 2020. I'm assuming that's when these gloves were actually manufactured in Mexico. So that's the right glove. Here's the left glove next to each other. They look identical. Uh, they both have uh, really kind of a glossy finish when it comes to the leather. And I believe Reyes actually puts a waterproof repellent that they spray on the gloves before shipping them out. Um, you also have that elastic piece that keeps the middle section together as well as a leather attached thumb that's in white. Uh, the grip bar, very similar to the training gloves, is more of a rectangular shape, and nice and firm, pronounced there. No ventilated holes on the palm or on the thumb. 
And let's see how this actual elastic system works with this. So, okay, so basically the elastic portion on the outside of the cuff is stitched in right here to the back of the wrist. So that acts basically as kind of like a, uh, a cuff protector and it holds everything in for an amateur bout. That way it doesn't come undone. And then on the inside, right here on the back, you'll see that does have a Velcro strap. So the Velcro strap comes around and is attached to the outside edge of the glove right here where the Velcro meets. So you essentially have this on, <clears throat> this goes around, you attach it, and then you have this piece. Uh, typically what happens with this is that someone in your corner, whether it's your coach, the referee, whoever it may be, will actually slide this cuff over so that it contains the Velcro on the inside. Um, and you can see here, it does have that stitching. That is not Velcro, that is all stitched in as one piece and it protects that Velcro from coming undone and keeps it nice and secure. Um, in terms of the padding on the wrist section, let me go ahead and slide that card out. Uh, the back of the wrist, I would say, has maybe a quarter inch of soft density foam padding, uh, maybe a little bit more on the inside of the palm, right up, up to there and on this side. So you do have some wrist support on both sides. Um, the liner on the inside is standard polyester, nylon uh, moisture wicking liner. You also have uh, the Reyes manufacturer tag. That's all on, uh, you find that in all of the authentic Reyes equipment. Uh, the warning label that you always get. Um, you also have another thing that you find in authentic Reyes uh, boxing gloves is the imprint right there that's branded into the leather. So you see Reyes and it has a serial number that's actually branded into the leather. You can see the stitching looks excellent throughout, just a fantastic job with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna open up the left glove. I'm just gonna take that cuff elastic off. I like and as you just put the gloves on and kind of give you guys an impression on how these feel when you put them on. Sliding my hand in, definitely a compact glove. I'm gonna put on the wrist support, the, the Velcro closure. Uh, the Velcro feels really good, nice and comfortable. Um, I'd say from a stiffness perspective, it's definitely a little bit more on the stiffer side. It's gonna take a little bit of time to break in. Um, the, the thumb itself um, feels, I'd say slightly awkward. It's not bad. Um, I would say that it's a little bit flared out and that this piping right here is a little bit on the tight side. But honestly, I kind of come to expect that from Reyes when it comes to their gloves. Um, the actual length of the thumb, when you push, when you make a fist and you pull your fingers down, it does feel like it's a little bit on the shorter side. It kind of pushes down on the tip of my thumb there. Um, the hand compartment is definitely, I'd say the right size. It's not too wide and it's not too narrow. So in terms of the width of the finger compartment where you put your, your fingers into, that doesn't feel bad. Um, and you can, you can feel a little bit of the stitching right here where the seam is at. Uh, and one thing you'll also notice is the foam padding on here is much more firm than you would find in, in their training gloves uh, or any other fight gloves for that matter. You can see it's much more firmer. Um, so I'd say it's definitely on the firm density side, you know, a step up from this and you would almost think that this is like a molded foam that they use in here, but definitely much more firm. So this would lend to be a much more protective glove in terms of like shock absorption and then obviously using this in an amateur bout, um, you're, you know, you're looking to score points. Um, obviously you're looking to do damage. It's boxing, boxing is boxing, but uh, you're not looking at this as a standard pro fight glove where Reyes has either a standard glove that has horse hearing in it. So you're trying to inflict as much most damage or try to knock your opponent out essentially. So you can definitely tell that this is made more for that amateur style of fighting because of the padding construction. Uh, but overall, uh, feels pretty solid. Um, I do love the quality on them. Thumb could use a little bit of work. Finger compartment feels good, and it definitely feels like it's gonna take a little bit of time uh, to break in. The wrist support feels nice as well. Um, I could definitely foresee it. You know, obviously I, I'm gonna have to start using these before I do my review, but I could definitely foresee these being, for those of you that are gonna be uh, getting into the, to, into the amateur ranks as a good glove to use, um, 
building up maybe to your fight if you know you have a fight coming up and you want to train in, in amateur gloves that you, you know or may know that are going to be used during that bout um, then these would be definitely good to hit the bag with do some mitt work just to kind of get used to the weight and the overall size of the glove um, again the thumb on this one does definitely feels a little bit on the shorter side and you can see when I pull down it just kind of pushes down on the tip of the thumb uh, the finger compartment on this one feels about the same in terms of the width um, I did notice that there's a little bit of piece of extra like leather that kind of sticks out on the stitching on my index finger uh, it would have been nice if they just kind of covered that up with some neoprene again it's not extremely broken in and a little bit more on the stiff side and a lot of that has to do with actual padding they use on here this foam padding um, which is definitely much more firmer I believe it's going to be either I think latex that they use on here but the latex they use is definitely much more firmer and you can see just me pushing down with my fingers it takes a lot of effort for me to kind of compress this foam down kind of interested to see how these feel to me these are much different in terms of the foam than any of the other Reyes gloves I've used and done a review on in the past so I'm actually really interested and excited to try these out especially doing mitt work with these hitting the bag just to see how these feel um, to me these are much different than the other gloves uh, which typically have more of a medium uh, density feel to them and then obviously the flight gloves are much softer than that uh, but to me these are kind of like a hybrid of a little bit of everything I feel like uh, they're unique uh, same leather same quality that you would expect from Reyes the shape of the glove reminds me of kind of like their training glove the size is like their fight glove uh, it does have this velcro closure with the elastic band that goes over it for the amateur uh, fight purposes um, and different padding compositions so very unique in that regard I'm definitely excited to try these out if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Cleto Reyes amateur boxing gloves and I'll see you guys later take care